Yo guys, Jonathan here. Welcome to the perfect MacBook Pro setup photographer edition. So over the years, I've gotten a ton of requests for a photography based setup, but the problem is I am not a photographer. So for this one, I called him Mr. Tyler Stallman, who's an insanely talented photographer, and this is what he does for a living. Now the centerpiece of this setup is not something you would normally expect and honestly, had I not collaborated with Tyler, I don't think I would have found this option either. So this is a 62 inch adjustable work table from Husky, which is something you grab from Home Depot rather than Ikea or a furniture spot, but it worked surprisingly well. So Tyler's in the midst of redoing his studio, which is why he was looking to do a desk setup, and the number one priority for him was to have everything kind of locked and loaded on the desk, but with the freedom to move around. Jonathan and his team mounted a power bar underneath the back of the desk so there could just be that one cable running off so that as I move it around, nothing's gonna get caught, everything is contained. And when I come there with my MacBook Pro, I can just put it down, plug one or two cables in, and I'm ready to go. In choosing the actual desk, it was important to me that it was adaptable so that for one meant that it could be raised up and down. It also has to kind of be able to get beat up because when the camera gets put on it, it scratches the nice table. In an open studio space like this, we're always kind of moving things around depending on the shoot. So it was important that it was on wheels so I could easily bring it from one side of the room to the other depending on what we're shooting. Now this particular desk, we couldn't get shipped out in time while Tyler was out in LA. So we actually borrowed this from another photographer, Sam Elkins, who also does amazing work. Make sure you guys check him out. But what was interesting is he actually stained the top of this, which came out amazing. Now, as far as the computer, Tyler's choice is a 2018 15 inch MacBook Pro. The way that we work is a lot of travel photography and also in studio stuff. So it had to be a 15 inch MacBook Pro so that I've got plenty of screen real estate on the go. And then when I come and plug it in, I've still got lots of power when I'm in the studio. Now, as far as the monitor goes, we didn't want to go crazy expensive. So we kind of met in the middle of size and performance. This is a 32 inch 4K 10 bit HDR monitor from BenQ. And what's awesome is that it connects via USB-C. I thought the BenQ monitor was a really interesting choice. It's, it's enormous, it's 30 inches, and it has P3 color space as well as 4K, so it looked pretty great, but out of the box, their color accuracy wasn't quite perfect. So we used a Spider 5 Express to calibrate it, so then it can match the MacBook Pro monitor or a printer or any other digital devices as well. Even if you have a really high precision monitor, it's good to calibrate your colors about once a month. They gradually drift. So we went for a slightly more affordable big monitor and just made sure it was as accurate as possible. Now what kind of ties everything together and brings the hub or dock-like functionality to the setup is this awesome LaCie external Thunderbolt 3 hard drive which has card readers built in which is perfect for photographers. So you have blazing fast storage combined with quick access to offload your files and I love the fact that it kind of just keeps everything together and super clean and minimal. Now as far as the mouse and keyboard, one of the trusty Logitech Performance MX, which you can't go wrong with, and then an Apple Wireless Magic Keyboard with number pad. We added a full-size wireless Apple keyboard because I think one mistake they made on the MacBook Pro is that those arrow keys aren't the shape of a T anymore, so when you're just feeling around with your fingers, it's hard to know exactly what you're pressing until you look at it. In a Lightroom, navigating left, right, up, down is something you're doing all the time, so this bigger keyboard gives you more room for that. It also has another numerical pad, which is great for photos. Now without a doubt what was the most interesting element of this setup was the palette control surface kit. This is the expert edition which is kind of this awesome modular control surface which in this case Tyler used with Lightroom. And this you can assign to any controls within Lightroom or Photoshop and they're super modular so you can shape them around your desk. Like I was just getting started with them but it made me want to have a lot more of them. They felt really good to use and I especially just like to have them for my exposure and white balance. Like if it was just that, that's very useful right there. Honestly, it was just kind of awesome seeing Tyler work in his element. He's so fluid and seamless. You can tell it kind of just comes second nature. So this was definitely a cool way to kind of enhance his overall workflow. If you're curious on why there's no speakers on this desk, Tyler just usually rocks a pair of wired Sony headphones and it turns out that the adjustable crank on the desk works perfectly to hang those headphones. This desk turned out awesome, so Jonathan, thanks for having me be a part of it. Photographers are very particular about their gear, so it was great to put something to custom together that was just what I needed. So that is the perfect MacBook Pro setup for photographers. This would also work amazing with the 13 inch MacBook Pro as well. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did and you are feeling like being awesome, make sure you guys smash that like button. Check out some of Tyler's work, link down below. He does some amazing work. And if you're looking for more setup inspiration, I actually just posted a secret office tour, which is linked here or down below as well. This is Jonathan and I will catch you guys later.